Hi everyone, today we will look answer for chapter 9, probability of combined events for self-practice 9.2b. Now we look the first question, two fair dice are rolled. Complete the following table by listing all the possible outcomes. So this is the table given. This is the first dice and the outcome of the dice is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And for second dice also same, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So how we want to fill up this table? So this is 1, 1. So you have 1, 1. Then that means the first dice also you get the outcome 1 and second dice also you get 1. This one, 1. Two. That means the first dice you get 1, the second dice, the outcome is 2. Same goes, this one, the first dice is 1, second dice is 3. First dice 1, second dice 4. Then followed by 1, 5. That means first dice 1, second dice is 5. Then 1, 6. Then for the second row here, uh, the outcome for the first dice is 2 and the second dice is 1. Then followed by 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6. Then 3, 1. Okay, 3, here is 1. Then here we will come 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4. 3, 5, 3, 6, no? 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 3, 5, 3, 6. Same goes for the second, uh, the, when the first dice, uh, the outcome for the first dice is 4 and the outcome for the second dice is 1. Okay, followed by 4, 2, 4, 3, 4, 4, 4, 5, 4, 6. Then 5, 1, 5, 2, 5, 3, 5, 4, 5, 5, 5, 6. Then 6, 1, 6, 2, 6, 3, 6, 4, 6, 5, 6, 6. This is for part A. Then part B is take NS. NS means number of the sample space given here in this experiment so total uh, total outcome in this uh, event okay you have one two three four five six six times six uh, so total outcome you have 36 outcomes then for part c verify the conjecture about the formula of probability of getting an odd number in the first dice and the prime number in the second dice by listing all the possible outcomes. That means you need a uh, odd number in the first dice. Huh? So odd number in the first dice. So odd number here is 1, 3, 1, 3 and 5. And you need a prime number in the second dice. Huh? Prime number in the second dice means prime number start with 2, 3, 5. So both, huh? both uh, condition must be uh, there. So here that means the odd number also must be there and the prime number also must be there. So the first dice should be odd number like 1. The second one is prime number. 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 5. Then 3, 2. So you can look the answer. 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 5. Then 3, 2. 3 is the odd number. 2 is the prime number. Then 3, 3. 3 odd, 3. The second one is prime. 3, 5. Then 5, 2. 5, 3, 5, 5. So we can uh, see here total outcomes for this uh, 
even 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, total outcome is 9. Out of total samples, you know, total outcome in the sample space is 36. So, 9 over 36, when you simplify, you get the answer 1 over 4. That means you divisible by 9. Okay, divide by 9. 9 divide 9. Huh? 9 divide 9. So, you get 1. And 36 divide by 9, you get 4. So, the answer is 1 over 4. Next, we look... Um, Question 2. Kamal chooses two marbles randomly from a box which, which contains four red marbles, three yellow marbles and one green marble. The first marble is written to the box before the second marble is chosen. Verify the conjecture about the formula of probability that two yellow marbles are chosen by listing all the possi possible outcomes. So here you need two yellow marbles uh, out of all these marbles. Huh? Okay, out of four uh, red marbles, three yellow marbles, and one green marble. So total marble you have eight. Out of these eight, you need two yellow marbles. So yellow marbles total you have three. So you can label it as Y1, Y2, Y3. The first yellow marble you can label it as Y1. Second yellow marble, you can label it as Y2. And third yellow marble, you can label it as Y3. So this one, you are returning back. Huh? When you take the first marble, you return back. Then you choose again the second marble. That means when you get the first marble is Y1, you put back. Then the second marble also you can choose Y1 because you already put back the first marble. So there's a possible outcome that is Y1, Y1. The first marble also Y1, the second marble also Y1. So you can have Y1, Y1 or Y1, the second marble is Y2 or Y1, Y3 or the first marble that you choose start with Y2, then Y2, Y1, or both or Y2 and Y2, or Y2, Y3. Or the first marble that you choose is Y3. So Y3, Y1, Y3, Y2, Y3, Y3. So total outcome here, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 9 out of 64. How you get 64? Total marbles, okay, 4 red marbles, plus 3 uh, yellow marbles, and plus with 1 green marble. So total you have 8. So to get sample spaces, sample space, total outcomes, K okay, you square, 8 square. So you get 64. This is one of the method to know the total outcomes of the uh, event. Okay, so total outcome here, 9 out of total 64. Okay. Same, number 3. Box A contains a red card and two yellow cards. That means... One red card and two yellow, total three cards. Box B contains three red cards and a yellow card. That means three red, one yellow, total four cards. Fauzia chooses a card from box A and box B respectively. Verify the conjecture about the formula of probability that Fauzia gets two yellow cards by listing all the possible outcomes. So, um, here... Probability that getting two yellow cards, so that means box A also must yellow card and box B also yellow card. Box B is only one yellow card, but box A contains two yellow card. 
So for box A, you can write because you got two yellow cards, okay? So you can write or label the cards as Y1 and Y2. This is for box A. So box B, no need because you only have one, uh, one yellow card. So box B, just you label it as Y. So you first you have to choose from A. So maybe you can choose Y1 and box B. Just only one answer lah, why? Or why two, why? So you have only two outcomes there. Box A, why one? The second box, no choice. Box B, don't have choice, only why? Or why two, why? So here you have total two outcomes. Then, You have a red card and two yellow cards. So red cards and yellow cards. So total you have uh, three cards here. Okay. And box B, you got three red cards and one yellow card. So, so you want to know the um, outcomes, so total outcomes. So, okay, one plus two, you got three here. Okay, or we write here. Okay, for box A, total cards. We got three cards. Box B. Total cards. Three plus one, four cards. So what you can do to find total um, outcome for this sample space, three times four, twelve. So you have two outcomes here. So the probability is two out of 12. So you divide by 2, you get 1. 12 divided by 2, you get 6. So the answer is 1 over 6. This is how we calculate. I hope you all understand the explanation given for this uh, self-practice. Thanks for watching.